There's no doubt that Grand Army is trying its best. Adapted by Katie Capiello from her 2013 play slut, Netflix glossy, gritty new teen drama, now streaming, half out of four, is trying to say big things about race, gender, classism and poverty. It's also trying to turn an introspective play into an ensemble drama, and to craft an adolescent soap opera from all the politicking and PSAs. It's trying to do so much that it occasionally gets in its own way and is bogged down by extraneous storylines and buzzwords. If you strip back some of the excess, Teresa the gripping teen drama there somewhere. When you find it, ARMY is exquisite. But the show can be a slog when it loses its way. ARMY follows five teens at the fictional Grand ARMY High School, which brings together a diverse collection of students from different cultural and socioeconomic backgrounds. Joey Del Marco, Odessa Zion, a white firebrand feminist with a self, centered kind of activism, who is the main character in Slot. Dominique Pierre, oddly Jean, a black student who has huge potential to succeed but is held back by her need to provide for her Haitian family. Siddhartha Pakham, Amir Bajiria, an Indian, American who struggles with his sexual identity. Layla Zimmer, Amalia Yu, a Chinese, American girl adopted by white parents who's desperate to fit in. And Jason Jackson, Malik Johnson, a naive band kid. More, Grand Army. Six more new TV shows you should watch this fall. Yes, there are still new shows, even during COVID. In the first episode, set in January, the students' world is rocked by a terrorist attack mere feet from the school, which sets off a chain of interpersonal events that shape the narrative of the season. Joey is criticized by a teacher for wearing revealing clothing. Layla is secretly thrilled when she is added to a lewd list of hot girls. Jason and his friend Owen, Jaden Jordan get in trouble. Dominique sees $200 that she needs to help her family stolen. And Sid worries about being considered a terrorist because of his race. From here the plot gets more complicated and darker. Shades of Degrassi, and more recently, HBO's Euphoria are here, as the series tries to get into the lives of its teen characters. Like Euphoria, ARMY doesn't shy away from the underbelly of modern teen life, including drug use, sexual assault, bullying, Revenge porn and other risque activities that terrify the parents of generations E. Jean and Azion, daughter of Better Things star slash creator Pamela Adlin, turn and star, making performances as Dom and Joey, the strongest characters with the most consistently effective storylines. Azion balances a character who is both infuriating and somehow still likable, while Jean ably handles the inner struggle of Dom, who has to constantly adjust her mood and behavior to satisfy her family the white teachers at school or her friends. Apart from those stories is where ARMY falters. Layla is so immensely grating that her appearances stop the show in its tracks, especially when her animated fantasies provide a jarring contrast with the rest of the show. Sid speaks in platitudes and buzzwords about race and sexuality that feel unnatural. Jason's encounter with the school's disciplinary measure seems more like a morality play than anything that has to do with him or Owen as characters. Here, the big ideas about race and the school-to-prison pipeline are supposed to come out, but there's an inauthenticity to the portrayal. It's frustrating when the army writers get in their own way. But when Azion or Jean are on screen, the show instantly writes itself, guided by the sheer charisma of the two young actors. Like so many high school students, ARMY doesn't get straight as the first time out. But Terry's room to try again.